G'day, I'm David G. Sheshnag.com. Sheshnag Mandir. What on earth is Kundalini? This video is about a couple of rules I've developed at Sheshnag. <laughs> I'm into um, <clears throat> respecting myself and a bit of boundary definition at the moment. And in that, I've been totally going irate when people either call me or come to my house and judge me. And I'm thinking, if there's one planet, one place on this planet where I can be safe and free from criticism or judgment, it's my own house. <laughs> Look, poor kids, um, especially my daughter, she's been, um, she's copped the brunt of it, let's say because I've developed two rules around um, my house, specifically recently. One is that if anyone's singing, it's best not to um, be critical in any way of them singing, because I understand that if they're singing, they're expressing heart joy. And it's a beautiful thing, whether you're in tune or not, have you ever felt into the person singing? It's just blissful because they're happy. Not many people sing when they're unhappy. So there's a rule. If you ever come to Sheshnag, watch out, and someone's singing spontaneously, out of tune, doesn't matter. Even if they mix up the words, whatever. It'd be best <laughs> not to be critical or there's a technique called minimization. And we're always doing it with not we, but there's a lot of people out there that are doing it there. They don't, a lot of the time they don't know they're doing it, but there's underhanded, like little jabs and slashes. And my friend did it the other day, and I said, mate, he said, don't give up your day job. I said that, like he said, oh, he was laughing ear from ear to ear. My mate Scoosh, right? I sung a song to him. Um... What was it? A good heart is hard to find. And I sung it, and I'm out of tune, mate, especially at the end of that line, right? And he said, oh, I'm smiling ear, ear to ear, but don't give up your day job. And that brings me to the second rule, the but. But you can see there in there, it's a little bit of a joke, but it's a conditioned minimization of things. And I said that last part of that sentence wasn't necessary, mate. And he's thought about it and he said, you're right, man. My granddad used to say that. My dad said that. It stops with me. Thanks for pointing it out, Omji. The other rule that I've developed is within the first two words um, of a reply, because I found that a lot of people don't actually listen. They don't care. They're unable to hold the space and really listen. So they actually listen and with the intent to respond. So responses in Sheshnag.com or Sheshnag Mandia, I've, I'm very picky on it. I'm very um, sensitive and over, um, over sensitive to it, over critical, like over sensitive to the criticism and the minimization, especially on the, on my own property. Um, it's best if you don't reply with but in the first two words of the reply. And if you take note of how many times you're interacting with someone and the reply is yes, but, or no, but, and I say, wait up. Every time you use but, it's like, you don't care what I said, and you just crap on what I said. Of course, this is from the Om David G School of Spiritual Neuroses because I made this stuff up, but it's quite energetically relevant to minimization techniques and dismissal, and they infuriate me because it didn't matter what I said. Like I said to this guy the other day, I said, with the plastic bags that you're getting these vegetables out of, I prefer it 
if you didn't rip the bag open. And he said, yeah, but they're just plastic bags. And I said, this is what you've done. I said, I've given you the option. I prefer in this environment to recycle my plastic bags. I've said it nicely. I prefer that you didn't rip the plastic bags open because they go to waste and they can't be reused. In your mind, you didn't actually care about what I said and I doubt that you even heard it because your immediate response was, yeah, but. So you've gone, yeah, as if to pretend you heard me and then but as in, I don't give a crap about what you said and I'm about to crap on what you said and tell you my opinion of what I think's necessary or just my opinion in general. After that, he came to a better understanding of utilisation of the word but in regards to the first two words of a reply. <laughs> I'm a bit harsh on this bloke too um, because we have conflicting uh, constitutions. So I've invited him to my property for three days to see if I can experience love and acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, they're the two rules that Sheshnag um, Mandir, if you come here, no minimization techniques to do with underhanded slashes or uppercuts and then uh, um, dismissals, no uh, but in the second first or second word of the reply. So see how you go. Maybe you can understand that in everyday life and just take a, um, take a look at yourself. Take a look at others. Not necessarily point it out, but just understand that there's a lot of um, condemnation rather than complimentation. <laughs> That's a word I made up too. Om Namah Shivaya, Hara Hara Mahadev. Have a great moment. Share the world. Peace.